Hey guys, welcome back to another video in InfoSec Path. In today's video, what we're going to be talking about is finding passwords in WordPress. So WordPress is a platform for blogging, websites, and stuff like that. And it's super vulnerable. And if you want to check out my last video, I just uh, show you guys how to use uh, WP scan, some commands, and we're going to continue with that. This is going to be like a part two of that series or that video. Um, so what I want to do is I have the same, um, I have the same site up. This is my WordPress site locally on my network. Remember, do this every, do all of this stuff on your own network. Don't start scanning, you know, other people's sites. I, I don't condone that. But this is strictly just for educational purposes. You know, I, I created a little site. Thank you for checking out InfoSec Pat. I created some links just so it looks pretty, um, you know, this is all about, you know, my name is, this is Patrick, you know, AKA InfoSec Pat, etc. blah, blah, blah. I just made a little, um, a little site. Okay. And you can do that with turnkey. So what we have here, we have a couple users. Let's go to all users and every single, Every single WordPress site out there, if you have the website and you can do slash WP admin, WP dash admin, you will see um, their, their login screen. And you can run these tools to see if they're, um, what users are on there. And then you can use a word list from the internet or you can, I wanna show you how to get to the word list locally in Cali or in, in my case is Parrot OS, which I like better. So we're gonna go ahead and go for Patrick. Um, if you watched the last video, you probably remember my password, um, but obviously I'm gonna show you guys how to create a new password list and how to run all these tools. All right, so let's get started. All right, so let's go ahead and minimize this. And the first things first, I'm gonna go ahead, the, the rockview.txt is a, a word list. Obviously it's so massive that it's uh what I can do then I can do this let's do this really quick I'll show you let's cd to desktop and an ls whoops ls and we can see rockyou.txt so we can cat that out okay rockyou.txt and you can see the idea I want to control c that because it's like a trillion bajillion passwords combinations etc so I got all the way to d obviously if I do this paste and then I can um, control C and then I can go up. So just so I can, I don't have to have a million of them. So you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, blah, blah. I love you, password, princess, rock you, etc. cetera, Nicole, Danielle. So these are all possible passwords. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create my own word list with the real password in there, obviously, because you know we're not gonna sit here for a million hours so we'll just copy that and we'll go ahead and go to the desktop. We'll create a new file and we'll just create a new document. And actually, I don't want to do that. Let's just uh, throw that in the trash. Let's just go ahead and create a new text file. Plain text. And I'm just going to put um, word list 2020. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and paste that, all those passwords. And if you remember, the password was password 2020 for Patrick, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and put this, I'm going to copy this. Oh, shit. Excuse my French. Let's control Z that. Let's copy this. And let's go ahead and put it in row 12, okay? Just so it's in the middle of everything. So let's go ahead and X out of here. Whoops. I didn't want to do that. Let's go ahead and uh, let's do file save. Okay. Let's go ahead and X out. Close what? X out of here. So now we have this word list. So let's go ahead and go back to the terminal. What we can do now, we can do an ls again, and we can see wordlist.tx, uh, wordlist2020. So let's cat that. Wordlist.2020. And you can see our word list here and the password is right here. Remember, we just wanna have something simplified, right? So what we can do now, we can just go ahead and clear this. And now what we're gonna do 
is go ahead and try to find the password for that user. And if you remember from our previous video, I, I still have this up. Um, we, we ran the command sudo wp scan URL, and this is the, this is the, um, the IP address to my WordPress site. And, and if you remember, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what's going on here. All right, a whole bunch of craziness. Let's go ahead and play this. Let's go ahead and run this command one more time. Let's just, I'm just gonna take off this WordPress. I'm just, I'm just gonna put the actual IP, that should be fine. And put the password, and I wanna have that run. And it should find Patrick, this is not doing the password yet. This is not, uh, this is just finding the user. Okay, so now I just wanted to show you that command again. And if you wanna know the command, I can paste it in the, in the description or you can go from my other video that I show you this exact command. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do the same exact command, but instead of enumerate you, we're gonna back out of there. Okay, back out of this. And then we're gonna do uppercase U and we're gonna do the username, right? So the username is Patrick, right? So the pass, uh, and then dash dash password. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is go to the location where that password list is located. In my case, it's gonna be root backslash desktop, holy moly, slash, and then it's gonna be word list, word list 2020.txt. Okay, so this is gonna go, go ahead and let me see if I can uh, make this a little smaller for now, because I know my big head is on the bottom there. Um, let me go ahead and check, see where my big head is at in here. Okay, you guys can see it now. Let me actually uh, I can make this a little bigger. Uh, okay, I made it a little bigger, but all right. So this is the, the full full on command. So if we hit enter here, we're gonna go ahead, let me actually, you know what? Let me make this smaller, because zoom out. All right, let's uh, make this, let's clear this. I messed it all up. All right, let's just do up arrow, okay? So we're gonna run this. This is where the, your, let me make sure I didn't capitalize it just for, no, this word list 2020. Okay, just wanna make sure. Now we're gonna hit enter here. Uh, am I writing something wrong? Pass, did I capitalize my, let me see what I did here. Oh, I see what I did. It's supposed to be passwords, not password. Okay, sorry about that. So now if I hit enter, uh, does not exist. Desktop. Uh, that's weird. Let, let's let's go. Let's go ahead and try to cd to that. That's weird. Interesting. This is weird. All right. What I want to do is this. Let's do this. Uh, let's do this, ls, cd desktop, ls, okay, so I know pwd, all right, so I, I'm in home user, that's my bad, I'm sorry guys, so we're going to have to make a, a change here, that's, that's my bad, you know, we live and we learn, so I'm in, I'm in home backslash user and then desktop. So now it should work. All right, let's go ahead and hit enter here. Now it's gonna go out and do it. My bad. I'm so used to Kali and you know, different kind of variations of, uh, of systems. So we live and we learn. All right, so right here, valid combinations found. 
Username is Patrick and my password is password2020. So it did find that password in that word list. So that's pretty much how you would actually go about scanning for passwords in, in WordPress. If you know the username, and obviously you have to do some reconnaissance to get the username for the WordPress panel, wp-admin. Um, so, you know, like I said, the way you would do that, I showed you in the other video and in the beginning of this video, to see if there's any users assigned or associated with that WordPress site. All right, so please, hopefully you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, share. If you have any questions, just hit me up. And sorry for the few little typos, you know, this is a, a virtual machine that I don't really use all the time. So, you know, you live and we learn. So we got through it. So password 2020, it did find the password. This was the main goal is to find the password for the users that we tried to attack. All right. So until next time, take care, guys, and uh, be safe out there. All right. Thanks.